Hello everyone, Russ of Aquarium X Pets here with an unboxing from Cuddly Crawlers on eBay. I'll have a link down in the description. Ryan has sent me something interesting to test out. So let's see what this is here. I don't want to spoil it, so I'm just reading through this myself. Yeah, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to spoil the surprise because it talks a little bit about some stuff that we're going to see. So, cool. Check it out. Dangomushi. I don't have... I have one. One Dangomushi myself, and this is awesome. I have a... a, a it's a red edge. Kubara species red edge. These are super cool. I'm going to get the plastic open without damaging the... There's uh, some part here. Hmm. Let me see if I can get this open. There we go. There we go. It's coming. Sorry, I'm bumping the camera a little bit. Well wrapped. I love these for several reasons. One is because they're very well made with attention to detail. I love the way they look. You can even see, see that's a male. You can tell because of the way that pleopods are shaped. This would be a male. Uh, males don't typically have um, copyright information on them. But this is awesome. I love these. I love that they'll curl up. And this, this little catch here allows you to snap it together so it can conglobate and remain conglobated just like a real isopod. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Love these. So these I didn't know about until um, I opened the package. I, I know what else was coming. I did not know about these. Um, Ryan had mentioned that something was coming. Something extra was coming. I don't know if I've seen these in, in a smaller size like this. This is cool. Looks like a like a leucistic isopod, almost like some of the uh, what am I thinking? The Santa Lucia that I get. Some of them look a lot like this. Well, I'm having trouble with that plastic for some reason. It is very good defense, this isopod. Predator would never be able to get this unconglobated, and I, I don't want to slice the legs or anything like that. I'll try to be very careful. Get this open. That is so cool. Oh, I think Ryan mentioned in here that the, the big blue one is for me and the, the white one is for anyone I choose. So I guess I need to do a giveaway. So that's going to come up here. That is cool. Dangomushi. Okay. So I guess I'm going to have to do a giveaway with this one. So cool. All right. Now, let's get down to the items that Brian has 3D printed. And the purpose here is for me to test these out. So these are, of course, isopod related products. I want to uh, kind of share them with you. How they work.
Oh, and there's it's like quite a few different portions here. You might think they're vents, but they're not. They're not vents. These are ISO ISO pads. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Okay, so the idea is that this is kind of a it's a hide that that also works as a trap. Okay, so this is pretty cool. What you do is I'm not even done yet. I have to get the base out. Let me. Let me get the base out. It makes more sense how this works. Okay. Try to get the right color. I am partially colorblind, but I think that's the right color there. Um, so, it goes like this. It works as a hide. But you can feed inside there, so it functions as a feeding platform, feeding station. But you can also do this. So you get something like a squash or zucchini. And you pop out a bit like that. And then you drop it in here. And now it's baited with that zucchini. So you can use this to feed things like that, but you can also use it to collect isopods because then they're going to come in here and you can lift this out and you'll have isopods that have congregated in this isopad. And of course you can use this surface, just one moment here, I'm going to put some fish food pellets in there, I'm going to put some fish food pellets down there, you have some zucchini or other, you know, soft veggie something like that in here and you put that into the enclosure so it could be a good way to collect isopods uh, for shipping or for other purposes whatever you're going to use them for it can also just serve as a convenient feeding station and hide so i think this is pretty awesome and i'm excited to try these out ryan has sent me several and once again i'll put a link to the the uh, ebay shop in the uh, description so you can check out what Cuddly Crawlers is doing. Um, I'd like to thank Ryan for sending these. I'm excited to try them out. I'm going to go put this in an isopod enclosure, see how it does. And I'd like to thank our patrons at Patreon for doing everything that they do for helping to support the channel. And I'm going to put the uh, names of the patrons at the end of the video. So check that out if you would like to see who is helping to support Aquarimax, and thanks for watching. I post videos every Friday with live streams on Wednesdays. Please feel free to share, rate, comment, and if you haven't already, and then tap the bell for all notifications so you don't miss my next video.